So today we're going to start our learning on the quadratic formula. And we're going to evaluate some of the things that we know. So first, this is a plus minus operator, which means I need to take 1 and add the square root of 49. And then also take 1 and then subtract the square root of 49. So I know the square root of 49 is 7. So I have 1 plus 7, which equals 8. Then I have to do 1 minus 7, which equals negative 6. Here again, I have 8 plus or minus 2 over 5. So I'm going to break that up and go 8 plus 2 over 5. In the numerator, that's 10 over 5. And 10 divided by 2, or 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then here we have 8 minus 2 over 5. 8 minus 2 is 6 over 5. And I will leave that as an improper fraction. Here, I'm going to evaluate negative 5 squared, which is 25. And then minus 4 times 4 is 16. And then 16 times 1 is 16. So this is a square root of 25 minus 16, plus or minus, which is plus or minus the square root of 9. So our two possibilities here are 3 and negative 3. And then in a little bit more complicated of an example, we have negative 18 plus or minus the square root of 36. So negative 18 plus or minus 6 over 2 times 3 is 6. So we have negative 18 plus 6 over 6. And negative 18 plus 6 is negative 12 over 6, which is negative 2. And then also we have negative 18 minus 6 over 6. Negative 18 minus 6 is negative 24 over 6, which is negative 4. So now we need to choose one equation to solve by writing it in factor form or completing the square. Explain your choice of method. So for the first one, I'm not sure of factors of 1.25, so I'm going to complete the square. So we have x squared minus 2x. I'm going to move the negative 1.25 over to the other side and put it as positive 1.25. And then I like to draw my rectangle diagram to complete the square. So we have x squared. And if I have minus 2x uh, to divide equally on the diagonal into the x parts, I have minus 1x and minus 1x, which means on the outside in factor form, I have x minus 1 and x minus 1. And I like to put parentheses around there to show that those are my factors. And then negative 1 times negative 1 makes positive 1. So I'm going to have to add 1 to both sides. And then we see in, in our diagram in standard form, we have x squared and then minus 2x and then plus 1. That factors into x minus 1 squared. And then that's equal to 2.25. And then on both sides, we take the square root. So this would be x minus 1 equals plus or minus. And then I'm going to use a calculator to evaluate the square root of 2.25. And it's 1.5. So we have two possibilities. If I add 1 to both sides, I have x equals 1 plus or minus 1.5. So I'm going to break that up into two equations. x equals 1 plus 1.5, which is 2.5. And x equals 1 minus 1.5, which is negative 0.5. So there are our two possibilities. 
So for two, three, and four, we're actually going to learn something called the quadratic formula. And you can go back and check your answers for that using the quadratic formula. So here is a formula called the quadratic formula. If we have a quadratic equation in standard form where we have the coefficient of x squared is a, the coefficient of x is b, and the constant is c, um, our formula to figure out our answers is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'm going to show you an example of how it works. So if we had the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and again, b here was negative 8. A was 4, and C was 15. So substituting our numbers into our formula, that's what we get right here. And then we need to evaluate. So the, uh, the opposite of negative 8 is 8. Then negative 8 squared is 64. Then minus 4 times 1 times 15 is minus uh, 60. And then over 2 times 1 is 2. Then we evaluate underneath the square root sign. 64 minus 60 is 4. So 8 plus or minus the square root of 4 over 2. Square root of 4 is 2, so we have 8 plus or minus 2 over 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10 over 2, which is 5. And then 8 minus 2 is 6 over 2, which is 3. So now we just need to pick some equations and use quadratic formula to show that it's true. So I'm going to pick the second one. In the second equation, we have a equals 1, b equals 7, and c equals 12. So if you want to be very good at remembering the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now I'm just going to substitute my numbers x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared. 7 times 7 is 49 minus 4 times 1 times 12 all over 2 times 1. Now looking at, at that, 4 times 1 is 4 and 12 times 4, this is going to be minus 48. So I'm just going to cross that out. And then 49 minus 48 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So this breaks down into negative 7 plus or minus 1 over 2. And then we're going to break it up into the two possibilities. x equals negative 7 plus 1 over 2, and x equals negative 7 minus 1 over 2. So then that's going to equal negative 6 over 2 which is negative 3. And then we have negative 8 over 2, which is negative 4. So what I want for you to do is pick two more of these and then work those out using the quadratic formula and then solve uh, on the back. So we have an assignment here. And then work through those questions on the assignment. Thank you.